Hi, and welcome back to NR Element. I'm Andrew Lee, Customer Technical Services Engineer at Materion, and today we're going to be discussing the process of heat treating copper beryllium parts. Heat treatment changes the properties of an alloy. For example, it can increase the strength, conductivity, and the hardness by varying degrees. Therefore, the heat treatment process is going to depend on the desired end state of the material. Copper brilliant parts can be purchased in two forms from Materion, mill hardened and heat treatable. Mill hardened means that the parts are already at maximum strength. You would want to purchase a heat treatable part if it required heavy forming processes like deep drawing. It would be purchased in the heat treatable condition, deep drawn, and then it would be heat treated to maximum strength afterwards. Generally, copper beryllium is first solution annealed to normalize the grain size and reduce internal stresses, and subsequently age hardened to a specific temper, tailoring it to the application. During age hardening, beryllium rich precipitates are formed in the metal to increase the strength. There are three different conditions of hardening. The first is peak strength, which results in the maximum strength and stress relaxation resistance in the metal. The second would be underaged, which will result in a higher toughness and ductility. And the last is going to be overaged, which results in a higher conductivity, thermal stability, and a higher toughness and ductility. There are a few common problems that happen when you're heat treating copper beryllium. The first of which is an inadequate time and temperature tolerance in the furnace. This will, will result in different properties than you expect, since the time and the temperature that it's spent in the furnace is actually differing than what you thought. The second will be a non-uniform temperature in the furnace, which results in the same issues. This can be caused by inadequate circulation or by having too many parts in the furnace at the same time. You can check for non-uniform temperature by placing multiple thermocouples throughout the furnace. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, feel free to reach out to myself or any one of my colleagues with further questions. See you next time.